welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this very easy uh simple uh kids dress like the button is going to be on one side so guys this video is going to be showing you guys how to move your button from center line to the side that's basically the main point of this video so uh but it it came in a kids dress so i'm going to be showing you guys how to cut this dress so um the first thing you're going to do is to fold your fabric into two since i'm going to be cutting the front and the back together so this here the fabric is into two at the moment so i'm just going to fold it this way and then um one is going to be my back panel and the other one is going to be the front so the width i have here is basically going to be your uh the widest part of the child's measurement it depends or even if you're making it for an adult so it can be the uh, hip it can be the bust so whichever one it is so you're going to just use that divided by so i divided it by four i'm using 24 for the widest part i divided it by four which is six and then i added about extra three inches because it's an a-line dress so it depends on you if you're making it for an adult you can use about five inches or so to get the wideness of the a-line or any amount you want to use so now i'm going to go ahead and insert the shoulder measurement i'm working with so this is going to be a sleeveless dress so what i'm going to do is my shoulder measurement is uh, 10 um divided by 2 is uh, is going to be 5 so i'm going to subtract about 0 0.75 from that so it's supposed to be somewhere here i'm just going to come in a little but if, if i was making it for an adult i will come in by about one inch so now I'm going to insert my armhole measurement, which is about uh, 12 inches from here. So that's 12 divided by 2 is going to be 6. I'm going to mark that here. And then I'm going to come down here by about half an inch. Insert my neckline about 2.5. Yeah. And then I'm going to connect my shoulder slope. So now here I'm going to insert the uh, bust uh, measurement I'm working with, which is 24. Divided by 4 is going to be 6. So I'm going to add extra um, half an inch of ease to it and then my one inch of uh, similar ones here. So now from here, I'm going to just go down and connect this to the end of the dress. Like if you have your ruler, that's better. Just give it this A-line shape this way. And then once you do that, you're going to come up here by about one inch. And then you're going to blend it in to the edge of this point. Just like that. So you can get that shape. So now that I've done this, I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to give it a curve here for my armhole. Armhole curve here. And then I'm going to just mark one inch of neckline depth here. Which is somewhere here. This is going to be my back neckline. Once I cut out this here, I'm going to separate it and then cut out my front neckline. So that's basically it. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out now. So guys, you see, I cut this part out. This is out. I cut out the neckline and then the shoulder slope. This is out. And then I cut out this part here. So this is out. And guys, uh, this is a four-year-old going to five. So now the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and separate the two of them. So this is going to be my back panel. Set it aside. And then this is going to be my front panel. So all I have to do now is just to notch the center. So I'm going to notch the center at the bottom and then I'm also going to notch. Uh, but before that, let me cut out my neckline here. So I'm going to come down here by about uh, 2.5 or you can do 3 inches depending on um, the age of the child. So I'm going to do 2.5 here, mark it out. So this is going to be my front neckline here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out now. So now that I've cut it out, I'm also going to go ahead and notch it, right? And then I'm, do, I'm going to go ahead and iron this because I want a line here so that I can be able to mark my one inch away. Or if you feel comfortable enough, you can just take your ruler and mark your one inch on this side. So guys, you just have to pick a side you want the button to be. So I want it to be on this side here. So on this half of this side. So since I know this ruler, the width is just one inch, I'm just going to place it this way and just mark that one inch all the way because I want to move one inch away from the center line, right? So I'm just going to use this here and mark down one inch down here. Just like that. So I've moved from the center line one inch away. So now I can open it up. And I know that 
my button is going to be on this side so following this line that i just made now i'm going to cut this all the way to the top so guys as you can see i've cut this into two now so all i have to do at this point is just to start adding my plaquettes for this here so at this point you can go ahead and use a different color of fabric it depends on you the color you want if you want you can still stick to the same plain color of of the fabric or you can go ahead and change a different color now but what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut out my fabric that i used to fold this in so that i can make a placket so guys i decided to use akara for mine to make the placket but it's not going to be visible on the outside of this cloth so this is what i'm going to do here you, the one you're going to attach to the smaller side you're going to make it three inches the one you're going to attach to this bigger side you're going to make it two inches this is why so the one that is on this side is going to be three inches because you're going to first right so i'm going to first make a stitch this way fold it this way and then I'm going to flip it on the other side and sew it down. This side, I'm just going to take it this way, sew it down, and then just flip it on the inside of this. And then it's going to overlap like this. This is what I was trying to explain. The side with the bigger uh, body here has two inches that I attach to it. And these two inches, all I have to do is just to fold it in this way. At the very end, you see where the fabric meets each other this way fold it this way and then i'm going to just tuck in the half an inch at the edge here and just sew it down this is going to be the top part of my placket so all i have to do is just to make a stitch down this way and this will be this way but then for this second one here as you can see i also attached it to the three inches width on this one but this time around i'm making it come out a little you see i just folded it into two with the other half an inch on this side because remember it's three inches of width 1.5 on this side 1.5 on this side that's 1.5 as in one inch width here but i use half an inch to join it here and i'm also using half an inch to fold it down this way all the way to the end so once i fold this one down now it's going to go inside this way and then this one is going to overlap it this way so you see now we have back our main bodies but guys for this here this one here i didn't use up to half an inch if you see i use quarter of an inch to join it because you don't want to use a, um like half an inch and then when you go to place it on top of this here it will be less so that's why i use quarter of an inch just just enough to hold it down and then so that when i flip it here and place it on top here the difference will not be that much so you see once you place it now you have back just like how our neckline is supposed to look so now once i finish sewing down this placket now fold this on this side this one on this side too all i have to do is just to go ahead and join my body so i'm going to join the shoulder to the shoulder this way sew it down and then i'm going to try to use bias to finish up my armhole this way and my armhole this way and then close up the two sides what it looks like now i've finished sewing it down so i use bias on the side just bias with this same fabric here and then this is it here so as you can see it depends on you you can still move it further maybe 1.5 if you want it to be more obvious than this but i think this is just okay so like if you want the shift on from the midline to be more obvious maybe you're making it for an adult you can do 1.5 so this is basically it here so all i have to do now is just to attach my buttons i i was thinking maybe i should use like a fabric to uh, cover up this button so it will be a different color but i think i might just use it the way it is because this fabric already has a lot of, um this color contrast is already too much for this particular color I'm just going to put in my button on this side and then the button hole on the other side and then fold the edge of my clothes and this is what it looks like here so i've put in everything my button hole is on the top and then let me open it up so you guys can see and then my button is on the other side so you see so this is basically how you move your bossing placket to one side, like overlapping the other side. So, yeah, side. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.